The union representing tens of thousands of high school teachers and some support staff is ramping up efforts to put pressure in the, on the provincial government in their ongoing negotiations. And thousands are expected at a mass meeting being held tomorrow among the items on the table for discussion, a province-wide strike vote. The, uh, the minister is clearly struggling to implement the Ford education agenda while trying to maintain some sort of facade about of caring for students' uh, educational quality. The union representing 60,000 members, including teachers and support staff, is currently holding strike votes across the province, saying talks with the Ford government have stalled since the notice to renew the collective agreement was served back in April. Since then, we have made extremely little progress, um, and the government continues to fail to engage in any substantive way on the important issues. Issues like funding cuts that the union president says has and will dramatically impact some of the most critical positions across the province. The cut in funding uh, resulted also and will continue to result in the loss of hundreds and hundreds of critical support staff who provide assistance to, in many cases, our highest needs and our most at-risk students. Earlier this year, the government was criticized for a proposal to increase the average class size from the board-wide average of 22 high school students to 25, which the union president says would lead to the elimination of full-time teaching positions. It's their, their stated intention to eliminate one out of every four teaching positions. Uh, from, from the province's high schools, a total teaching loss across the province of over 10,000 teaching positions, as con confirmed by the Financial Accountability Office. The government's proposal of e-learning courses for high school students is also something the union says it won't be budging on. Something that is not replicated in any jurisdiction that we can find anywhere in the world that would have four mandatory e-learning credits. Ontario's education minister says the union hasn't been bargaining in a, quote, meaningful way, while the government has remained flexible and reasonable. He also says, it has been over a week since my negotiation team gave a substantial proposal to OSSTF that includes a reduction in average secondary class size from 28 to 25, yet OSSTF's immediate response was to escalate strike action without any meaningful consideration of our proposal. The union refutes that the province has put in efforts. I'm having a hard time understanding what the minister is talking about. Uh, I suspect that he's not getting sufficient or detailed briefings from the bargaining table because, in fact, we've seen that they have refused to engage with our proposal uh, around e-learning. On Friday, the Elementary Teachers Federation of Ontario voted 98% in favor of central strike action should it be required. And this latest round of province-wide strike votes for high school educators uh, started last week and it's expected to continue in the next coming days with the results coming in on November 15th.